Today's webinar is uh, Laserfish Web Access 10, building off of Empower 2016. Uh, we will present the new Web Access 10 product and uh, go through some various uh, explanations and uh, areas within Web Access. And uh, why don't we take a look at the agenda here? Uh, today's presentation will cover um, several areas, but again, um, let me just mention that. Uh, uh, City Digital uh, is presenting this. My name is Kyle Niebel, and I've been a consultant here at City Digital for quite a few years. And uh, I do training and consulting on all the latest fish products. If you have any questions at the end of this uh, webinar, you can send me an email at kyle at citiesdigital.com. So today's agenda for our webinar is to take a look at the new uh, interface of web access. Nice, slick, snappy, uh, nice to use intuitive interface. There is a simplified search in Web Access 10. Uh, there are some quick lists to take advantage of in the interface, which uh, will be really neat to use. And the unified metadata pane is new to Web Access 10 and uh, consolidates a lot of information in one area, making uh, the use of Web Access a lot easier than in the previous version. Uh, there is a new document viewer and uh, look and feel to that document viewer. And within the web access product itself, uh, there are certain areas where you can generate reports. Uh, these reports really can be downloadable CSV uh, or uh, tab separated value documents that you can use for editing and manipulation in Excel later on. The web access product does support video streaming if you're browser supports it and has a installed plugin uh, for that particular video and would stream videos if uh, it is so set up. And Web Access 10 also has a new capability to support cloud import services in which you can uh, bring uh, documents from a cloud service into the Lature Feature repository through your Web Access interface. And with that said, let's take a look at Web Access 10. All right, the Laserfish Web Access has a login screen as usual. Uh, if you have Windows authentication set up, it would take you right into the repository, but we'll just do a login here. I'll sign in with my username and password. And this will log us into the repository. And here's the new interface. Across the top, you have a simplified area for activities. The main one that stands out is the search repository area, which includes a quick search and an advanced search capability. That's uh, searching right then and there. You can configure your display options uh, across the top here in the display options area, configuring your column settings and any other optional uh, settings you might want to uh, have set up on your screen. Uh, you have your logout uh, capability under your uh, log in, so we're logged in with the admin account and we can then either sign out. We can also set up some of our options right here as well. But you'll notice uh, there is a location that uh, tells you at the very top where we are within the repository. And we're at the very root of the repository, so it says training. And there are five entries in this example and uh, it shows the folders uh, underneath. We can have records management type folders, record series, uh, or regular folders. And the arrow allows us to expand or collapse any particular folder set. The middle area has your columns, which uh, just like the full HFH client, shows folders and or documents within that uh, area. And across on the right side, is the new unified metadata pane, which shows us not only information about a particular folder or document, but it also has the ability to look at fields. Uh, if we were highlighting a document, we have a preview mode, and we have uh, additional options to choose from as well, depending on where we are. Uh, and before I go any further, across the top, 
regarding where we are, if we're highlighting a folder, we have various icons at the far right that allow us to do various actions. If we're in a folder and we want to create a new folder, we can create the new folder clicking the icon here. We can download documents from the repository to our local machine or to a network drive by clicking the download button. If you want to import documents into the repository, you can click the import button. If you wanted to scan directly to this folder or to the repository, you can hit the scan, which would launch the LaserFish web access web scanning module. Uh, you can rename documents and folders. You could email a document. You can even do your delete activities. And then there's the more action items as well, which allows us to move or copy a, a particular entry. We could start a business process. We can even generate reports. Uh, generating reports is the ability to take a list of what's in the contents pane and export that as a CSV. One of the great features of LaserFish and brand new to Web Access 10 is our quick access pane. And down below in the bottom right corner, we have uh, some new quick access links. So for example, if one had exported or checked out a Office document and were editing that Office document, you would see a Documents in Use link down below, like we see here. Uh, we have uh, a Excel workbook that has been checked out and uh, is in use and has not been checked back in yet, so we can see that in our Documents in Use. Once it's checked back in, this Documents in Use link will disappear. But if you do have them, they are uh, shown here in this link. Another new feature of LaserFish 10, not only in the client but in Web Access, is the concept of starred documents. A document can be starred for uh, quick access in the starred items list. So that uh, if you're working on a folder or a document, you can refer to them quickly instead of having to bounce back and forth between folders. Great new feature in Web Access 10 and the LaserFish client as well, all part of the new version 10. Uh, we also have a quick link for recently opened documents in which uh, we can view any documents that we've seen recently and look at those. We can open them up. You'll notice in one of these documents, the uh, statements document, there's a colored bar to the far left of the document item that uh, indicates that there is a template assigned to the document. And much like the full LaserFish client, uh, there are right-click capabilities on any of these documents. You can open it. Uh, download it, you can remove the star if you wanted to do so, start a business process, etc. Now, uh, since I just clicked or selected the checkbox on the document, if we look on the far right side, the unified metadata pane has come up with information about the document, and you can click on the template, and if you click on the template, it will actually take you to the fields tab and show you the template and any information related to that template. Uh, preview mode will give you a quick preview of the document. Uh, you don't have to open the document. You can just see the preview mode here. And you have more options here as well to manage uh, the document if it's part of a record series or maybe uh, do some business processes. The document itself is, uh, when you're highlighting it, you have different options at the very top right. So at this point, instead of being able to create a new folder or uh, import a new document, you have a short list of choices. And those choices would be to download the document, rename it, uh, email it, or delete it. If you open the document by clicking on it, it will open up the document in a new document tab. And this happens no matter which browser you might be using. I'm using Google Chrome, for example. But the document opens in its own tab. And the document viewer has a new interface. Uh, it actually has, uh, much like the full LaserFish client, a thumbnail display, uh, a main pane to show you the pages themselves, and your metadata screen on the far right side. What's new in LaserFish Web Access 10 is this full screen mode. Top right corner, if you click this uh, double arrow icon, the document will actually take up as much real estate as your screen can provide. 
and then you can shrink it back down to normal view. Now what disappears when you go into full screen mode is the search within document or the find capability. And within the uh, document itself, we can do searches for words if it has searchable text. And we can type in an, a, a search term and click enter. And the document will then show the uh, areas where that, that word appears in highlight. And then it even gives you an ability to choose the context and go to that page. So page two, I want to click on there and then go find the document and show us that. Or you can just click through each link and have it show you that way by these up and down arrows. Fantastic new feature in Web Access 10. Very easy to use and intuitive. While you're viewing the document itself, you have some options. And this is new. In the top left corner, for the document itself, you have some options. You can uh, save the document as a new document, doing a Save As option. You can rename it or take uh, some various actions for downloading or emailing the document, uh, printing it out if you want, or scan additional pages into the document. Uh, if that's all, that, if you've done everything, you've seen the document, you don't need to do any other changes, uh, one can simply click uh, Return to Folders or just close the tab completely. Uh, one new feature of the Web Access 10, if you're a records manager, is the records management quick link down below. And for documents or folders, record ser series folders that are uh, able to be uh, cut off or disposed of or any records management activity that you want to take action on, we'll go ahead and actually go back and go to records management and we'll select a folder. And the document itself has various information. We can do records management mode. So in the records management mode, we might have to click on more and go to our records area. But if we have a folder, a uh, record series folder that is, that is ready for a cutoff, we can take action on that document right here in web access. And uh, to just make a further point, at the very top, uh, one can do some quick searches for documents that are uh, eligible for cutoff or eligible for disposition, or maybe you have some vital records to review on a regular basis and you want to do that. So LaserFish has made this very easy to take records management action right here in Web Access 10. Uh, maybe we need to uh, dispose of a document at this point. It's ready for destruction, and we can simply take action by making sure that we're in the records mode and then take action right here. Uh, we also are displayed quite a bit of information about the uh, document or record series that we are taking action on. Fantastic new feature in the repository. The recycle bin, again, is uh, available much like the full client. And if we have recycle bin items, we can uh, purge them out altogether. One new feature of LaserFish 10, not only the client, but also in web access, is the ability to search the recycle bin. When you are in the recycle bin, you are given the opportunity to click this search icon, and you can then do a search, much like any other search, for uh, information about that document. And maybe you need to search by field. You can add our search types. So the search window here is a flexible, configurable, display and allows us to add additional criteria to search within the recycle bin. And if we're done, we can close out. Let's say we're back in the uh, folder here and we want to do a search. We have our quick search like before. Uh, so our search capability in the repository can be a quick search based on document text, field names, or entry names, possibly even annotation text. Uh, new to Version 10 is the quick search that allows a within current folder capability. This did not exist uh, prior to the version 10, but now we have a quick search that allows us to search within a current folder that is highlighted. So, for example, if we were highlighting the financial advisor folder, we could actually say, I also want to search within this folder and look for a particular phrase here, clicking our search button. 
the advanced search screen if we needed to do a more advanced uh, search, much like the full client's uh, search capability, not the quick search, but the advanced search, uh, is very streamlined and allows us to type in a value for common items. Uh, we don't need to search for common items. We could just limit it to search types. Uh, we could uncheck some of these items and just type in our search phrase. We can select uh, various folders or documents. Let's say we wanted to search for just documents, and we can search for a current folder or just a selected folder. And you can add additional folders, much like you can in the full client. Fully customizable, easy to use, and much like the full client, you can save these searches right here in Web Access for use later on as a template for searches that you might uh, do in the future. And once that search is saved, you can then retrieve it from your saved searches list here. The LaserFish system does have a capability of generating additional reports. Uh, I'll point this out. Generate reports is really just the old style uh, print list or generate list. And when you do select the generate report, you can download the file as a comma or tab delimited file and use all the columns that you might need. So basically, any columns in the right-hand side become your values in comma, comma or tab separated. And that can then be used in further manipulation. So for example, if you need a list of all your clients and you want to list them by last name and first name, including their account number, then uh, ex export them in that list. Uh, you can then do some further manipulations, so it's a great little tool. So generating reports is a nice feature. Uh, it did exist in a slightly different name in uh, version 9, but uh, uh, very easy to use in version 10. The LaserFish Web Access 10 also has some new features. Uh, I mentioned them before. The uh, Cloud Import Services. LaserFish Web Access can interface and uh, in interact with three main cloud import services. And we'll take a quick look. I'll show you a uh, little display of the configuration uh, that Web Access allows us in the background. And we can uh, connect to OneDrive for Business from Microsoft, OneDrive from Microsoft itself, and Google Drive. Uh, once those are configured, uh, users can interact with those online cloud services and bring documents into the repository uh, directly. I'll close that out. Another new capability I mentioned was the ability to stream videos. If you have a video in LaserFish and one were to click on that uh, video, if your browser has a video streaming capability or plug-in to do so, that video could play right there in the browser. Uh, my, vid, my setup does not have that currently, but uh, I'd show you it otherwise. But if you click on the video, uh, it will play within your browser. Uh, if not, it then would just simply download. And uh, any video that uh, you click on or is an electronic file, you get this open document capability, at which point uh, you can then, if it's downloading, then your browser will show you the downloaded file, and then you can play it from that point onward. If you have the plug-in uh, for viewing videos, it would not uh, actually download. It would actually just start streaming right there in your browser. And that's the introduction to LaserFish Web Access 10. The uh, features are very easy to use. The uh, interface is streamlined. The clickability and the links are snappy and responsive and uh, very intuitive to use. And if you have any further questions or want to view webinars of uh, different products, we have those available to you. Uh, we plan on presenting additional webinars on Web Access in detail if the uh, requests are great enough. Uh, 